what happens? I move to my attack step. Then what? I attack with these two and pass priority. You missed a trigger, son! Oh, no, right, okay, so I'll pull it back and then... Not uh, in competitive magic, you won't! Uh, yes. Yes what, maggot? Sir, yes sir. Where are you from, son? I... from the same place as you, James. Where? Victoria, Canada, sir! Only two kinds of folks come from Victoria. Luck sacks and scrubs. Which one are you? I... am... you're... you're also from here, James. Again, we are both from here. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to prepare you for competitive level rules enforcement. You've never played in the GP before. No, and I won't have after this weekend. I'm just going to try and foil out my commander deck, eat some food, and play some drafts. Then what am I doing this rules enforcement boot camp for? I don't know. You just ran in here and started yelling at me. Huh. I do that a lot, don't I? Yeah. All right, Kathleen, GP Calgary. What's the plan? For the GP? I don't know, you guys are on your own. What, no team loading ready run? I thought you weren't even playing. Well, no, Alex and I are just going for fun, but you guys... Well, gee, let's see now. I'm playing Esper Tokens. Cam, you're playing? Well, it was red-blue counterburn, but there's fewer counters now, so it's turned into more of a violet deck wins. I call it the Tempest. Super! And Jer, you're playing? Well, Jun Midrange has been doing the best at tournaments lately, so... that? James? 60 cards is 20 too many. I'm just going for the side events. By the way, does anyone have four scavenging uses I could borrow? Paul, what are you playing? I don't even know yet. So no, Graham, I would say we're not really presenting a unified front. I appreciate Jer's plan, a proven winner, but I still feel like there's too much risk in that. In net decking? You make it sound dirty, though Jund is pretty dirty. No, with using any pre-existing deck. With the set so fresh, I feel like there is a statistically perfect deck that is yet to be discovered. Statistically perfect? Yes. Perfect. I have some numbers to crunch. Uh, okay, but don't, don't take all night. We leave on, uh, what ferry? The 7 a.m. Uh. Aw, oh, Muffin. Some of us get up that early every day. You guys have fun. I'll see you there Friday night. What? You're not road tripping? Sadly, it makes more financial sense for me to miss only one day of work and book a flight than to road trip out. Is it because of the smell? It's the road trip smell, isn't it? This choice has a non-zero amount to do with road trip smell, yes. I'm excited, you guys. Me too, I'm gunned. So are you gonna start packing then? I am already done packing, actually. I have three commander decks, my playmat, my trade binder, sleeves, dice, a list of foils I'm looking for. No, clothes. Are you going to bring any clothes? I don't think I'm gonna have room for clothes. Well, they're not gonna let you into the GP naked, remember? No, no, You no. almost got banned the last time you tried that. No, I'm going to buy clothes on the road. What, at all the finest clothiers the Rocky Mountains have to offer? That seems like a fine plan. I knew you'd like it. That's thinking ahead. Uh. Now to get some sleep so that I am functional at 7 a.m. Yeah. Ah, yeah, where am I? In the van. What? We're on the ferry. We just boarded. How did I get here? You walked. Walked? I just woke up. We had an extensive conversation on the current standard metagame. Nope. You had strong opinions on banned hexproof. You were frankly hurtful. Don't recall. Wow. It's a good thing you're not playing in the main event. I don't think you'd be functional enough to cast spells by 10 a.m. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Six friends, a van, a summer road trip. Five. Oh, come on. There's only five of us. It's Paul, isn't it? Yeah, it's Paul. Ugh. Yeah, he's not picking up. Awkward. Yeah.
So if a mountain is entirely covered by trees, does it tap for red because it's a mountain, or does it tap for green because it's covered in forest? Well, obviously it taps for both. It's a taiga, right? Well, hold on, no. The magic card taiga taps for red and green, but we are not currently in a taiga. In fact, we are in a temperate rainforest. What is that? Um, a biome characterized by coniferous and broadleaf trees. Hey, guys, can we pack up and roll out, please? And make sure you have your buddy. We already left Paul behind, and I do not want to leave anybody at a truck stop that sells that hat. What's wrong with my hat? Okay, road trip game. Which card makes the best band name from... Dragon's Maze. Graham, go. Um, uh, oh, Thrashing Moss Dog. They're a punk band from the West Coast. Kathleen, give me a band name from Cold Snap. Easy. Scred. And Scred is metal. Cam, Saviors of Kamigawa. Blood Clock. Wow, oh. that's super metal. Oh, yeah. Alex, M14. Oh, wow. Uh, a Cursed Spirit, also a metal band. Come on, guys. Metal bands are too easy. They're all metal bands, James. Wow, yeah, he's right. Howl of the Night Pack, Imposing Sovereign, Molten Birth, Rise of the Dark Realms, Sanguine Blood, Lava Axe. And this is all just M14, by the way. Liturgy of Blood, Mind Rot, Child of Night, Burning Earth. Yeah, this game ought to be Find a Magic Card that isn't a metal band name. Okay, here's one from Kamigawa. Evermind. They make experimental electro soundscapes. Mm. They sound awful. Oh, they are. Okay, okay, one from Dissension now. Aurora Eidolon, not metal. Aurora Eidolon also sounds terrible. What do you mean? They're awesome, if you like new age chanting. Oh, oh, are we doing Dissension now? That was the set with such metal favorites as Taste for Mayhem, Seal of Fire, Avatar of Discord, Blood Crypt. Okay, okay, we get it. Reign of Gore, James. There's a card called Reign of Gore. It's the third album from Jagged Poppet, featuring their seminal hit, Kindle the Carnage. Are those all from the same set? Yes. Maybe it was on purpose. Okay, game over. Time for a new game called Bathroom Break. Wow, that would tap for so much white mana. And green, there's some trees. There's trees on it, but it doesn't mean it's a forest. Mm. Taps are white, has a green activated ability. I like that. One and one green, tap, put a zero one moth creature token onto the battlefield. Moth? Does it have flying? <laughs> Barely. Bears, man. Nah, it's not really bears. They're not tutus. How do you figure? Well, they're all flat. They're like a 2 1. I'm gonna say with unblockable. What? Why? Well, because they just turn sideways and slide past. Okay, Alex. Another road trip game. I am not playing I Spy with you. No, 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 no. This is the one of where, like, I'll say a magic card, and then you have to say another card that starts with the letter that mine ends with. So, like, Lightning Bolt, T, and then you say Thundercloud Shaman. Okay, okay. I'll start. War Leader's Helix. X? Why you gotta play me like that? Um, Xenograft. Very good. Teferi's Puzzle Box. Ugh. Uh, Zira Arian. She's the insect lady from Legends. Norn's Annex. Dude, seriously? Uh, Xantid Swarm. Magister Sphinx? <sighs> okay. Jowdun the One-Eyed. Damping Matrix? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of boggy. It looks like it might tap for black. Mm, it's more like a wetland. Well, a wetland's a kind of swamp, right? Guys, 
This is neither a bog or a wetland. The closest thing we've come to a swamp is that bathroom at the last rest stop. Now, let's go. Yeah. Hey, Kathleen. Yeah? You want to get in some extra testing on the way? Yeah, I do. All right. Oh, wait a second. Are you guys testing back there? Yeah, why? Oh, no reason. I just hope I don't hit any corners. Ah! Ah! James! <laughs> sorry, guys. I didn't really mean to swerve. Ah! I'm sorry. I I couldn't resist. Ah! Ah! James! Oh, sorry about that. That one was actually real. There was a dead elk in the road. Aww. Well, boys, we finally found it. What shall we call this land that taps for all five colors of mana? It's easy. Canada. Wait, five? Yeah, tap Canada to add white, blue, black, red, green to your mana pool. What kind of sick drawback is that going to need to be even remotely fair? Legendary? Enters tapped. Ooh, and when it enters, pay one or sacrifice it. And return an untapped land to your hands. That's still nine mana on turn four. Alex, that's that's not the point. All I'm saying is it's either going to be super overpowered or need to be counterbalanced so much that it's totally unplayable. Yeah, yeah no, that kind of sounds like Canada. Dirt rare. <laughs> This bed is so comfortable. It's like a hug for my face. Oh, I could sleep for a week. Uh, M14 pre-release just started on Mitko. Anybody? Graham? Yep. Go. <sighs> Perfect. An answer to every possible matchup. Now, all I have to do is add some land.